sight time. It's sight time for grade 8 students. So we will resume back our classes or the lessons with these videos again. Let's see where we are. Here are the lessons that we must complete within this year. Also, we have completed some importance of microorganisms. We have done that one. Animal classification completed. Diversity of and the functions of plants completed. Properties of matter completed. Sound lesson completed. Magnets completed. Electricity and changes in matter. Human organ systems. These nine lessons completely we have finished. Electricity lesson we will do. Uh, have started this one and the number 10 electricity we will continue this lesson now so let's see the plan of this lesson and the electricity lesson there are many sub chapters 10.1 methods of connecting cells and bulbs and simple electric circuits and household electric appliances and heating effect of electric current light effect of electric current magnetic effect of electric current and finally chemical effect of electric current this part we have completed and let's see 10.2 as the simple electric circuits we must complete or do it today move on to the introduction watch this video about introduction Okay, I think you have received this tutorial, all of you, I mean the Wednesday students and Saturday students. So, uh, for the Wednesday students and Saturday students, the, both the students, uh, we have completed this page. Uh, but in Wednesday class, we did something more and we completed this page number 2, 3 and also page number 4. And uh, if you have haven't completed that yet don't worry then we will start it from this page today from the page number five because this is the common page that we haven't done i think i mean the wednesday and saturday students uh, the, no one have completed the uh, page number five and we will continue our lesson from page number five then once we start the class we can complete the rest if we haven't done that yet Right, current controlling components. First component, tap key. Look at the tap key here. And uh, this key uh, is a switch actually. This switch symbol is shown here. Let's see how it works. When the tap head is pressed with the finger, the contacting point contacts connect each other, then circuit get completed. And there's a video for you to watch the action of this tap key and watch this video the first component this is a switch this switch is called tap switch you can see how it works and when we press this one there are two con connectors which are contacting and uh, this is called tap switch or tap key let's see how it work and let's connect that to a circuit i will take set of batteries here and there is a bulb Let's connect these batteries to the bulb like this. First thing is this. You can see the bulb is lighting up. Now let's disconnect this circuit part and now connect another connector here. I will move the circuit little bit here. You can see it. When we connect these two, then the bulb must light up. When we connect that two bulb lights up so let's connect the tap switch to this place one terminal is this terminal let's connect this clip to that terminal and the other terminal is this so now it is connected then normally it's stay switched off when i give a press here then bulb lights up then for a moment we can switch on the bulb using this switch this switch is called tap key or the tap switch because we are tapping it to switch on and off second controlling component is the plug key look at that plug key it's 
attaching here that there is a plug connecting that switch this also a switch here are the symbol this is the off mode this is the on mode when the plug is fixed and when plug rod is inserted into the hole between the gap the circuit is closed when it removes circuit is disconnected and let's see how it's connect and disconnect using this video this time I have a different switch this switch is called plug key or plug switch you can see there is a plug we can attach into this this way and let's see how this plug key works again I will take the same circuit you have already arranged this circuit and when we connect these two it should light up and I have bro broken this from here now let's take the plug switch for the plug switch also there are two terminals I will connect one clip to this terminal and let's keep this plug away and connect the second one now when we have removed the plug the bulb will stay off or it is disconnected now when I put or the insert this plug you can see it switch on and plug switch permanently switch in on and off and this is called the plug key and this is how the switch works current controlling components fixed resistors there are number of resistors shown in this picture these resistors they can decrease the current flow symbols there are two symbols uh, any one out of this you can use most common one is the six set type line this symbol and resistors reduces or limit the flow of current they limit the flow of current in a circuit they are made of carbon nichrome or magnanine materials right watch this video to understand the action or the work fixed resistors here I have the next set. Uh, this is uh, these are called resistors. And in grade six, we learned about resistors. There are different types of resistors. Look at that component. And uh, these components normally we take to reduce the current. Uh, we can do the practical and check how it they work. There are different uh, size of resistors according to the purpose that they are using and look at this resistor this is the most common one nowadays they are made of the carbon material or we call them fixed resistors because their resistance is a fixed value now let's remove them and okay check only one resistor and let's connect that circuit again same, same circuit you can see here and look at the brightness this is the normal brightness and notice the normal brightness when I connect the resistor to this let's check. and here it is the brightness once we connect the resistor you can see clear reduction of the brightness of the bulb that means current flow has reduced the resistor increase the resistance therefore current flow reducing that is the fixed resistor next current controlling component is variable resistor number of variable resistors you can see here they can be used to vary the resistors or look at the symbol here the same symbol of the resistor with the kind of arrow we show this arrow indicates it's variable can, can be changed resistance can be adjusted by shaft being turned by the hand when the resistance is increases the current flow through the circuit decreases to see its function and the places where we use it you can see what watch this video about variable resistors next two components are variable resistors we can change the resistance of a variable resistor you can see there is a part to turn I will show that with this variable resistor clearly you can see this one when we turn that one we can vary the resistance that is how this uh, variable resistors work and we can see how that resistors work in uh, by connecting to a circuit here 
let's remove this variable resistor and again same circuit we can take this circuit and first let's see how to connect this variable resistor now we can connect one terminal the middle terminal to the power supply and uh, one st other terminal one of the other terminal we can connect to the bulb or the wire coming from the bulb now it is connected and let's see how the bulb is working with it now there is no brightness in the bulb and when I turn it certain extent you can see slowly it's vary the brightness with small brightness to large brightness we can change the brightness by this that means we can change the resistance by this variable resistor so variable resistors can be used as the volume controllers or maybe the dimmer switches I will show you how a dimmer switch is working with this type of variable variable resistor and here this is the action of a variable resistor and also a dimmer switch here there is a bulb and this is the switch you can see this button is connected or this knob is connected to a variable resistor here now let's switch this on you can see a small glow in the bulb slowly we can turn it you can see when I am turning this the brightness gradually increasing the brightness increases as I turn this one so this is how the variable resistor can change the resistance when resistance decreasing current flow increase when resistance increasing current flow decrease and this is the action of a variable resistor this is one application also in electric fans in controlling electric fans and also uh, some heat regulators we use this type of variable resistors next current controlling component rheostat look at the rheostat it's also a variable resistor but it's a big one and also can handle big current here symbol looks like this and it says that we can change the resistance using this variable resistor with two terminals one fixed and one sliding one therefore it can be often used to control flow of high current current can be decreased by this rheostat watch a video to understand the action of the rheostat last current controlling component the last one is the light dependent resistor it's called LDR light dependent resistor it looks like the heads looks like this and it's clear the symbol seems like this a resistor depend on the light and the function LDR is a light controlled variable resistor the resistance of LDR decreases when the light intensity increasing if light falls more its resistance decrease so to see the function of the LDR now you can watch this video next circuit component also a resistor this resistor is called light dependent resistor you can see its nature very small one and this is in short form we call this LDR L for light D for dependent and R for resistor light dependent resistor let's see how does this work this time again I will take the similar type of circuit here in this circuit I have used an LED because it's working to a small current here normally the bulb come in here let's see how the LED lights up when I connect these two terminals and to that terminals that open ends I will connect I lead LDR let's connect the LDR here and there is no glow here very small glow I 
think when I cover this one that glow vanishes up but if I light up the torch here I will light this up here and when I light up the torch or when I hold the torch over that you can see the bulb lights up that means when a light falls on LDR resistance decrease and it let current to pass when I remove it again you can see it goes off again when I hold the light over it it lights up with a certain brightness and when I move it away again it goes off when I move it over it lights up because LDR let the current pass when more light falls on this because of this this is light sensitive resistor that's why we call it LDR light dependent resistor right this is the end of the discussion of the current controlling components now let's move on to the activities activity number five this activity uh, you can watch and understand the action of fixed resistors or the function of fixed resistors okay this time we will do activity in the page number six there are three activities in page number six you can turn to the page number six and see them and this is the basic arrangement that we need to do that activity there is a power supply to cells and it comes to the bulb here and the circuit is now connected to an ammeter this is a digital ammeter you can see the reading now it is 0 0.20 and that is the current flow through this circuit so let's check how different resistors work in and how different resistors uh, controls this current when it is flowing through the bulb and first let's take fixed resistors that is the first activity given in the page number six activity number five in the tube according to this one the circuit already arranged we need three conductors one is copper conductor and other one two ohm resistor and 5 ohm resistor. Let's connect them respectively and check the reading of the ammeter. First I will connect copper conductor here, copper wire. Let's connect the copper wire like this and reading is 0 0.21 this time. This is the reading or the ammeter reading and brightness is normal brightness here. Let's disconnect that one now I will take a resistor, 2 ohm resistor. Let's connect 2 ohm resistor and take the new reading of this. Okay, the fixed resistance, it's varying. Okay, finished. Fixed resistance is 0. Point, the fixed current is 0 0.19. Current has reduced as well as the brightness reduced here. So you can see when we connect 2 ohm resistor current decreased and brightness of the bulb decreased. Now let's take even more resistance here in that resistor. 5 ohm resistor. Connect this one here. Current reduced more 0 0.16 and brightness very small. So the brightness and the current flow both decrease with this one. This resistor is 5 ohm resistor. And this is the end of activity number 5. Activity 6 is to understand the action or a function of a variable resistor. Let's see this. Activity number 6 in the page number 6. This time we will study how variable resistor varies the electric current. So let's connect the variable resistor. As I mentioned the middle terminal we will connect to the power and one terminal we will take as the other one. So let's read the uh, value of this ammeter and see the brightness of the bulb as well. You can see that one when I am turning this one see how the current change there is still it is zero you can see now it's 0 0.01 0 0.10 11 
and 0.13 gradually increase in the current 0.17 and bulb also light up with certain brightness now and again I am decreasing that one you can see with a variable resistor we can vary the current flow that is the most important thing that we must understand here when we turn the variable resistor current flow also varies with it right, this is the end of activity number 6 in page number 6 activity number 7 is to understand the function of LDR light dependent resistor right now let's see this is activity number 7 in page number 6 but it's given as activity number 6 I think somehow you can see the next activity it is to check how current flow in is vary with the LDR now let's connect LDR here to that two terminals and there are small current still flowing 0.3 now when I cover it you can see the current becomes zero in dark current zero and when light falls on this the more current flowing and also let's focus a light over this when light falling on that you can see there's a clear difference in the current uh, it's 0 0.09 now 0 0.10 and when I take it away again it's decrease so the current one the soldering tools this topic is in the page number seven I think you can see this one the soldering tools watch the video to understand the soldering tools part okay see this 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 tool is given in page number seven this is a soldering equipment or soldering tool commonly we call this soldering iron but in general life normally people call this bout electric bout and let's see how does it work uh, when connecting different electrical components and there are terminals we use this bout and to solder that one we use this special metal this is lead or soldering lead and as it melts at low temperature we use lead for this and let's see how does it work wait I will connect it here you can see that the bout now electric bout has plugged into the main supply now it's been heated and if we want to connect this type of two components this component is LED and this is resistor if you want to connect them together let's see how does it uh, how can we do this first you must fix LED to this clip and then the resistor we can clip on these two we can clip together and keep the terminals together so after keeping that I will show how I kept those and you can see I have kept that two together or the close to each other now let's take a bubble of lead bubble here and keep this lead drop on that two terminals as they are connecting here you can now they have joined you can see with that one we can join them this is how we can test or this is how we can join two circuit components together using the soldering iron let's take these two out here and you can see that components now they have joined tightly with this one right this is the end of our lesson you can and visit our blog site and you can find the note and complete the note on page number five six and seven goodbye everybody